how do I discern the will of God through strategic prayers strategic prayers particularly praying in the spirit strategic prayers praying in the spirit here means praying in tongues this is one of the principal ways that the Bible provides as an instrument of discerning the will of God now hear me there are two levels of the will of God there is the will of God as far as the blueprint of your purpose and your destiny is concerned you will not hear God on that every day but there is the moment by moment dealings in your life that will lead you ultimately to that greater goal you need to hear the voice of God per day per moment you need to be in the will of God every time God will not be speaking to you about your destiny and your life every day but you need his will to know what he wants you to do per time per season prayer provides that platform to be able to buy into the mind of the spirit to know what God is thinking at the moment for you two scriptures first Corinthians chapter 2 very powerful scripture first Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 6 is God speaking to someone tonight 2 1 verse 6 be patient as I read ready look up please how be it we speak wisdom everybody say we speak wisdom he never said we speak tongues he called tongues wisdom he didn't say we speak tongues we speak wisdom among them that are mature or perfect he said yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that comes to naught he says next verse we're reading to 16 but we speak the wisdom of god how in a mystery what we are speaking is not gibberish what we are speaking is not jargon paul is speaking by the spirit that when the believer begins to engage the prayer ministry that it is wisdom that you are speaking even though it is hidden in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the world for our glory the hidden wisdom that when you begin to engage the prayer ministry with understanding even praying in the spirit you are accessing the hidden wisdom of god verse 8 which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known this wisdom they would have spoken it too and discerned do you know what he's saying that if the princes of this world knew that praying this wisdom could give you access to divine secrets they would have used it too to know what this entire calvary thing was about and they would not have crucified the lord of glory that means if they prayed if all the, the princes of this world if they knew how to pray somebody would have picked the signal of the essence of redemption that paul got and they would say hey don't crucify jesus his death will be the salvation of the world this is what paul is saying that they were watching jesus go to the cross they didn't know there was a deeper meaning and he said there was a there was a provision in the economy of god for someone to understand what god was doing but that the princes of this world they were not privy to that which gives that access that means somebody can tap into you can you can look beyond the things happening in the earth and ascend to the realm of the spirit and watch what is really happening and playing out if you judge destiny by the physical things happening there are times listen there are times that everything can be all right yet there is turbulence in the realm of the spirit it has not manifested yet but by the time you begin to ascend in prayer you will touch a dimension in the realm of the spirit where you can see the truth of what is happening that there is trouble brewing in the spirit even though there seems to be peace on earth and you can take advantage of that knowledge and correct it before it manifests are we together so i can through the ministry of prayer i can pray and ascend to tap into the wisdom of god and i can see that god intends 
I mean that Satan intends that something negative will happen or God intends that this is ah my God listen do you know do you know do you know I can have a visitor who is coming to my house and not know why the person is coming but I can tap into the wisdom of God and find out and see that that person's coming is part of a bigger program to bless me that knowledge will now help me to know how to prepare and receive that person knowing that he's not an ordinary visitor many of us have ruined precious moments because we're interpreting things just from the earthly realm hear me if you were in jerusalem in the days where jesus was born you would just find out that on a certain day children started dying and you'll be wondering what is happening in this territory why are children dying like this two years and below what is happening that is killing children but only a few people knew what was happening that all that killing was the chase of somebody who had been born you would get up one morning and just see the star so bright and say my god the earth is shining not knowing that something marvelous just happened may you never be in the dark again in the name of jesus christ may you never be in the dark again there are many of us prophetic calendars shift and yet you don't know God is walking and doing things and yet you cannot see. You can't discern what God is saying. Man of God is a risk in this season to not know the current emphasis of God. Just because you are waiting for others to see before you see through them. Strategic prayer. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. Something is shifting in someone's life. And thine ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. This is, he never said this is the only way. There are many ways, but he said to get the result you are looking for, this is the way, follow it. This is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when ye turn to the left this is the way walk ye in it why because of jeremiah i think jeremiah now 33 and verse 3 call on to me and i will answer the way will not just be revealed to you because you are sitting and crossing your leg call on to me and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things many years ago many years ago when we had our first crusade after that crusade because we usually would organize a crusade in partnership with pfn or at least some of the church body there after the crusade it was not a very it was not really a big crusade but at least jesus was glorified and afterwards i remember some of the pfn leaders called me they said why don't you come and establish a branch of the ministry there would give you some pastors you can train them and have it for most believers that look like breakthrough be careful when doors open even the prison has doors so when a door is open you better find out where you are entering nobody enters the prison except through a door every trouble has a door that leads to it so just because the door is open you can enter a door that will take prayer and the prophetic to open be careful our obsession for open doors without discernment will land us in trouble for many of you it's not closed doors that cause your trouble it was open doors is god helping someone tonight i went to god in prayer it was sincerely a very nice thing i went to god in prayer and i said lord this is what these sincere people are saying on account of what you did through our lives and i would repeat for you the exact words that god used for me he said you would die it didn't make sense for many years but now i understand exactly what he was saying the will of god 
at the time God helped us to start this ministry and I say this with all honor to Jesus I will never forget that time that was when ministries used to generate revenue principally from the media ministry then internet was not really the way it is now so you package your CDs package cassettes and then it will be a major stream of income I remember the Lord speaking to me and he said you will not sell any media material that you would put your raw audios not videos just audios online and that my angel will take it to the nations it didn't make sense but glory be to God the foolishness of discerning the will of God I told you that the will of God does not make sense in many regards as at the time his word comes but if you can obey Everybody say prayer. Mark chapter 1 from verse 21 to 35. Listen carefully to what I'm about to say now. Mark chapter 1 from verse 21. The Bible says, and they, they went into Capernaum, Jesus now and his people, and straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught. Watch his life. We're examining the life of Jesus. The Bible says they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. So the word himself and then the Bible says he taught with authority. Next verse. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out. Uh -huh, saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us before our time we know that you are the holy one of god uh-huh verse 25 and jesus rebuked him saying hold your peace come out of him so we see that jesus touched the word with power we saw jesus ministering deliverance now 26 it says when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice he came out of him 27 and they were all amazed everybody say influence they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they obey him next verse and immediately what happened his fame spread abroad but the bible is about to show us what he did that made all of it started with all of the marvelous results next verse 29 and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered the house of simon and andrews and james with james and john uh-huh 30 and simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her what did he do and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and immediately the fever left her and she ministered unto them this was a celebrity already doing well the Bible says when it was evening look at the schedule of Jesus from the temple to heal this I'm sure they went to have some time of rest and he still ministered healing and then by evening he already had a crusade when the Sun did set they brought unto him all that were diseased and possessed with devils next verse and the entire city were gathered together at the door uh-huh and he healed all that were sick of diverse diseases he casted out the devils he suffered not that they do not speak uh-huh and in the morning watch this wow so this was the secret study the schedule in the morning you are preaching and doing all of this later on even when you go to rest everybody is coming at you the reason for his power was that everywhere he went and everything he was doing was consistent with the will of God now the Bible says in all of his schedules the Bible does not tell us what he does in the morning now we have the privilege to know how his mornings are like he showed us afternoon and showed us night now he says and in the morning rising up a great while before day he went out and departed into a solitary place and the one who had miracles the one who had powerful preaching 
the one who could heal the sick at will the one who everybody was talking about went to a solitary place to pray brothers and sisters in the presence of this kind of result what do you think he was asking lord power to heal lord power to cast out devils lord revelation uh -uh. if it be thy will reveal your will the secret behind the exploits that everybody is talking about is because i know your will and i understand your program part time he says i do not do anything by myself as i hear i judge so jesus would go in the morning Thank you, Father, even though I have come to represent you, but I pray that you reveal to me your will. And the Father reveals to him the will that today this and that and that is what will happen when you find the sick, heal them. There, it is possible that they are going to bring a temptation for you. They will bring a woman and caught in the middle of adultery and they are going to talk to you. Be silent and allow patience to make deception reveal itself and then when they bring such a woman jesus sits down and he's writing and then he lifts up his head and say he who does not have sin cast the first stone and the bible said they were convicted from the oldest to the youngest what kind of grace is that prayer most of you do not know what you are missing out when you get up and start your day without praying is 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 pride to get up and just start your day the one who made the day you will not find out how he designed all of this to be the one who made the day you are not asking him lord what is in it today there are many people god gave them the ministry but they never inquire of god on what to do they go around feeling what makes ministry work now and they say do this do that and they say fine they go and try it and it does not work and they are frustrated because they have not stayed with him to hear can i tell you i impart upon you by the spirit of god the grace for the secret place i impart upon you by the spirit of god somebody is receiving this grace the grace to stay with god and only move when you understand his will hallelujah I will never forget years ago i was supposed to go for a meeting in kaduna i was already taking my bath and i was happy in fact they really had started the meeting but they would give me a two hour gap and so i was taking my bath because it would take about an hour to get to kaduna then from zaria and while i was taking my bath the holy spirit spoke to me expressly he said do not go for that meeting not because there was anything wrong with the meeting very sincere people let someone stand for you. Ah, I felt sad because these were people I loved sincerely. I was going for that meeting to encourage the people. They love Jesus with all their heart. I said, how do I tell these people now? They had put posters. They had done the little and it was not like they had much. I had to call two of my people in Kaduna and say, please go for this meeting and go and stand for me. When I called the people, they thought I was already around. Apostle, are you around? I said, well, I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't know how I'm going to tell you this, but um, I may not be able to come. God has restrained me from coming. What happened? Do we see now? We, we see that God. Mm -mm, mm -mm. For every time you hear God and walk in the will of God, there is a fearful blessing at the other side of your obedience. In fact, sometimes that can literally open the next chapter. Of your life and your destiny listen you must obtain grace from God to pray pray in the night pray in the morning you are a man of God don't say this is how they are doing it go to God and pray there are many things that are wonderful I have lovely friends in ministry in this nation and across the globe and some of them I even share with them by the privilege of God's grace ideas to be effective in some of the things that they do but I will never find myself in anything personally and corporately that has not been commanded by God. Do you know why? I learned this from God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo. He said, and this is, I'm saying it because he shared the story, that years ago they were in Ghana and you know they were in their season of expansion and all of that and they went to Ghana and they found out they were struggling in the ministry. 
even though the mandate was speaking globally and everywhere God was prospering the work but particularly in Ghana it seemed like there was a resistance and he went back to God in prayer and God said I have not commanded it according to him he said he, he insisted immediately that they should close that church walk circumspectly as wise not as unwise how do you walk as wise when you walk knowing the will of God concerning what you are doing hallelujah everything good is not necessarily godly if you follow things just because they are good you will get into many troubles Satan uses both good and evil to destroy it is not only evil he uses to destroy you have to know this and understand this now the fourth key I will give you number one I told you is surrender you must be willing to enthrone the will of God above your will number two the ministry of the word number three praying in the spirit are you ready for number four if you really want to discern the will of God the fourth key is patience patience Hebrews 10 36 patience Hebrews 10 36 please read with me everybody one to read for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of God ye might receive the promise so patience will reveal the will of God for you and then when you find that will and do it you will now obtain the promise can I tell you it is in this area of patience that I submit to you that Satan has cheated many believers because there is a narrative we have been given in the body of Christ that the moment it is God he will speak expressly hmm. go and ask anybody who has done anything worth the while for God go and ask Abraham how long he waited for the will of God to manifest this is I, I need to bring us into this understanding because most people do not understand what the Bible calls the patience of faith are you learning patience in in Hebrews 6 and verse 15 Hebrews 6 and verse 15 it says and so after he the he being Abraham had patiently endured everybody say patiently endured one more time say patiently endured after he had patiently endured he obtained the promise he had patiently endured he obtained the promise there are many reasons why sometimes in the life of the believer it may take a very long time for the will of God to be revealed to you and I'm going to tell you this I will teach you why so that you will understand because many of you some of you are in this season right now it is a very difficult thing to live in the silence of God very difficult but the glory that follows his season of silence is is the glory that excels is someone hearing me now many times people send me text messages and if I have the privilege of meeting a few people they'll say apostle I've been praying and asking God should I stay in Abuja should I travel to another place I've been asking God should I quit my job and do ministry and it looks like he's not saying anything I have the heart to obey I study my Bible some of them have gone for dry fasting some of them went maybe to you know uh, prayer places prayer mountains and all of that and took out time to stretch and at the end of it they live disappointed and they are wondering what is all this now is it that God cannot speak every time God is silent beware of the voice you hear every time God is silent beware of the voice you hear because when your desperation to hear and receive the will of God gets to the roof Satan will come and cash in on that moment 
and appear as an angel of light satan can even use i wish i had time i would have shown you an encounter between a young prophet and an old prophet in the bible have you read that story that god gave a young prophet direction clearly you go and do this and face your front return back don't turn to the left and to the right and an old prophet called him let me tell you this i respect the fathers of faith and i respect you know my honor for the body of christ i am a strong advocate of honor but can i tell you when it has to do with the mysteries of this life and destiny sometimes you need to be careful experience can destroy experience is powerful but experience is only powerful if it is vetted by the wisdom of god there are many people in the name of experience they have been derailed away from the path of destiny experience is powerful but it must be guarded are we together if experience is powerful how does god do new things because when god is doing a new thing there are new things that have never been experienced before don't get me wrong we must place value on experience and the wisdom of those who have gone ahead of us but you must be careful to not idolize that wisdom as the standard because god is still doing new things there are many things sincere people will tell you that is inconsistent with god's program for your life it does not mean they are wrong they are just being very sincere the old prophet caused the young prophet to make a decision that ended up destroying him let me tell you sincerely as a man of god and with all due respect to the body of christ if i were to listen to and do everything i've been told by everyone my life would have been in shambles by now not because i'm, a, I'm maybe you know i i'm doing something bad but simply the misdirections that have come from sincere people you must obtain grace you must obtain stamina from God to be insistent on his will there are times that haven't done all all you need to do is sit down until his word comes let me tell you how the word of God comes you read your Bible in the fifth day of the fifth month the word of the Lord came that means before it arrived it was not there this is where the stamina and the maturity of a believer is tested your ability to remain in the last place of his instruction and stay there even when God does not make sense many times when I was in Zaria sincere people would tell me apostle this kind of anointing you have there are so many things you can do do this do that and sometimes I laugh sincerely I even take notes sometimes and I go back and ponder on it but every time I'm about to consider it to that that do not play with that peace factor in your heart if that peace factor in your heart is not there be careful it is not there for nothing I assure you it is a potent check of the spirit Are we together a gentleman traveled to a particular nation because someone invited him to be an assistant pastor he didn't pray he didn't hear anything it was a joy to him and you know the way the devil works this thing one two he got visa and he was so happy he used that as a confirmation you will read in the book of revelation that jezebel also gives favor jezebel can give favor can make something that god is taking you slowly but satan can bring it sharp sharp and you say i know it i knew that this was and you step into something that destroys you everybody say the patience of faith one more time say the patience of faith look up please now I'm, it's because i've said it before that's why i have the liberty to say it for many years many years and i'm just saying this to inspire you for many years god would not allow me buy a car I felt that I needed it in ministry because the burden of mobility and movement and it was not that the resources were not there I will never forget one time when I went to a car stand I had again talked about the money I was going to pay for it when the Holy Spirit spoke to me 
the people in the cast stand insulted me and they said you don't have money and you came here you know bragging and all of that and i just went how do i tell them god prohibited me are we together there are lots of witnesses in this place for many years as koinonia was ongoing it was a bike that i was using it was not a product of luck there were many gifts of cars that people would bring for me and i would say no the holy spirit would say no pray for them and give them back okay god so what is the name of what you are doing with me i i really mean it i'm just using that as to teach you something how can i be going for a miracle service winning souls casting out devils doing all of that i go for an external ministration there's a convoy carrying me i return back home and i'm climbing a bike i, I remember one time the protocol department they a, i think a woman donated a car or something and they came to pick me i said whose car is this i rebuked them i said don't you ever inconvenience anybody they are not here to come and drive me they here to they, they came to listen to the word of god eventually one of our, our dear ones started using his car you know to move me around and i was saying lord what is the meaning of this i mean even if it's for responsibility's sake patience 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 can i tell you don't hurry seasons you will miss the season you are rushing out of now You will miss the season you are rushing out of. I remember the day I was preparing, I think it was a koinonia service, a miracle service, I do not know. When the protocol came to knock my door, they know that once I lock myself like that, you don't disturb me. And they knocked the door and I said, who is that? I said, please, we have a message for you. From who? Please, leave me alone. I'm preparing for the service. Sir, a woman said the lord instructed her to bring a car to bring for you i said from where so 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 please this is this and finally that peace that for many years my heart just went down i said lord is this car for me or is it for someone else and the lord said no you'll take it that was the first time god allowed me listen carefully i'm teaching you this so that you will learn you there are many testimonies we can share but there are two reasons why i don't share testimonies because number one most people are not prepared to listen number two some of these my precious social media people um, who promote my messages their interest is they caption nonsense and let me use this as a word of caution i love all those i know that god has used my teachings to bless many people and i'm very happy proposals have come withdraw all your teachings from all these people no, i said mm -mm. if god is blessing them with it and they are blessing the nation so be it my only concern is make sure that you caption things and present the message in a balanced way that bless people don't be so obsessed to drive traffic that you don't care whether you misrepresent what we're saying so let that be a word if you know anyone who is part of these guys with love don't go and abuse anybody but with love tell them more than just generating income from this make sure that the message you are presenting is edifying not destroying you see the reason why we don't put this because some of them will write nonsense because they know that once they see joshua selman there people will just come you must fear god and some of you are here so listen very carefully are we together be disciplined over what you are doing if it's for the kingdom you can you can eat from the altar while you are serving the altar diligently but by the time your desire for money supersedes your desire to have people blessed you are doing something else not ministry are we together so back to my story do you know i stand by god to tell you i passed that vehicle like that and i did not even look at it for once it was when we were done with the miracle service I returned back home after counseling very late in fact already into the morning that was when I went and I opened it it was a Sienna and I said God so this is it I was happy no 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 I wasn't I, I was happy I was just saying so this is how you walk so what was the whole goal and among the many things God told me was that 
I put you through this sacrifice so that you will mentor young people to teach them that success is not just in getting things. I constrain you to help people know that the spiritual content within you, that you can excel even without fighting for some of these things. Do you know, let me tell you this. From that day till forever, what God has done by reason of that sacrifice to wait, I will only give God the glory here on earth and even afterwards. Are we together? Be careful when impatience begins to destroy your life. The all-wise God knows how to direct your life per time, per season. For some of you, you will be surprised. You have a good certificate, you have everything. And for five, six years, there's no job. And everybody is around you who has the power to give you the job. They will even make promises. Sometimes it's not an attack. Let me wrap up this teaching by teaching you how to interpret the silence of God. I pray that God has spoken to someone tonight. It is true that there are times God can be silent as far as revealing his will over your life and destiny is concerned. I was led of the spirit to teach you this because I believe that there are many people who are in the season of the silence of God. There is something called the season of the silence of God. You pray, you fast, you do everything and it looks like you are not hearing him. Let me tell you what that means. Every time God is silent, it means three things. Number one, it means he is working on you. That is the first thing. Every time God is silent and he withholds revealing his will to you, it can mean number one, that you as the vessel that will be used to do his will, there is a work that he's doing in you. And revealing his will to you will be a waste in that state. And so his silence means that you, con you should continue the training of the building until he makes you the vessel that is able to do that will you want him to reveal. Please listen very carefully. God is speaking to someone right now. God, why have you been silent on me, my family, my destiny? Every time God is silent, number one, discern that his silence is a message that I am making the vessel who I will use to achieve my will. Look up, please. God was silent on Jesus for 30 years. Read your Bible. You don't hear Jesus communicating with God as a small child, and yet he was God. From the time God spoke around his birth, you don't hear any discussion again. He went to pray, he went to learn. For 30 years, we don't hear the voice of God over Jesus' issue again. Every time God is silent, focus on you, not him. He is doing something in that vessel. Jesus was in the temple at age 12 because as powerful as Jesus is, even though he was God incarnate, at that state, he would not be able to fulfill the will of God. He needed to learn. He needed to grow. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. Your Bible says in those moments of silence, Jesus increased in wisdom. He increased in stature. He increased in favor with God and man. Don't waste your moments of silence. When God is silent, rather than lamenting in impatience, focus on allowing him build you. Lord, I know that you have not spoken concerning this and that and that. It means that there is something. The vessel that you want to use for that task has not yet become the version that necessitates the revelation of your will. Is someone learning tonight? L listen, what you are learning tonight, you are going to use it to help so many people. For some of you, this message now, you will call your loved ones and say, Hey, I came for Koinonia, I found the key. I found the key. While you have prayed and submitted your prayer here at Miracle Service, prayer after prayer, vigil after vigil. Most people do not focus on God making them. 
they just focus on God revealing his will every time God reveals his will there is a version that will fulfill that will and if you have not become that version he will withhold his speakings and focus on your training powerful another example I use Jesus let me give you one more <laughs> when Joseph had a dream that was the end of it there was nothing else he saw or had again he just had a dream of his destiny the Sun the moon 11 stars when Joseph entered the pit I'm sure he would say God give me explain to me why a righteous man will be inside the pit by my own brothers silence when they were selling him to go to Egypt silence but was he ever out of the will of God please talk to me even in your confusion God is still leading you this is a powerful message tonight as confused as you may think you are God is still leading you let me tell you how God leads look at me I want to teach you something powerful if God's desire is for you to go this way and enter a door please watch me if God's desire is for you to go left and enter the door to your destiny and in all honesty and sincerity of heart believing him you move right he will remove the door there and bring it here to make sure you do not miss his will that is how determined God is believe this about God most of you don't know how powerful God is have you read the scripture that says all things work together not for everybody to them that love the Lord so anytime you don't understand your life just ask do I love the Lord if your love is still in place find rest trouble only starts when the challenge is told away your love then you are in trouble all things interpreting the silence of God every time God is silent number one it means he's walking on the vessel Joseph look at the tragedies that follow Joseph's life from the well Joseph would get up they sold him in prison and he started serving he became the head of the prisoners just when he was about to rest Potiphar's wife came with her own trouble are we together now and then oh dear look at what happened to Joseph that he was in the prison there and he was holding the cloth of Potiphar's wife how could you deny he was holding the cloth of Potiphar's wife how would he ever explain to them next stage it went to the prison and he was there in the prison do you know he had legitimate grounds to be offended how in the world did I get here simply because of the dream God is is is, is that is not worth it please carry it and give somebody that's what somebody wants to do here now to say Lord I am tired of this thing beware when God appears to you and say you are highly favored because sometimes what follows that statement is controversy read your Bible he said you are highly favored you thought that immediately after that you will see people who will come together with gifts and say Mary you mean God appeared to you the favor of God can be very controversial and he calls it favor how do you explain that you are pregnant and yet you claim you are a virgin and instead of God to now speak and defend you he now keeps quiet learn how to live in the silence of God my dear people Joseph went to the prison and he stayed there even in his confusion and pain he was in the will of God and one day watch this he saw two people and he interpreted their dreams and he said please when you go to Pharaoh he didn't say tell him to make me king <clears throat> he said all I want is to get out of this place please tell Pharaoh I'm innocent and the man got there guess what happened he forgot him two years if you are Joseph and you come out and become prime minister who is the first person you are going to deal with 
you will first deal with the wine presser followed by Potiphar's wife when he became king it was unnecessary when when the will of God is manifest in your life there are battles that become unnecessary you have won are you learning this now so after two years in patience the voice of God was about to come let me tell you even when you enter the season of his voice you will not know you are that close it will be one morning and then the king sent for fair for Joseph just like somebody came for koinonia here tonight you don't know that the, the the voice of his majesty after 10 years after 15 years after 20 years after five years after two months finally his majesty is about to speak sit down let me tell you how god speaks when god is speaking to end your seasons he does not come as a still small voice read your bible Mm -mm. when it has to do with bringing your season to an end he comes in majesty he will do things that will let them it will be impossible to doubt that he's the one that came hallelujah and on that morning joseph got up in the morning how are you dear prisoners how are you joseph god bless you ah it's been a long time two years Plus, we don't know how long he stayed in the prison. We know that the two years was from the time the one presser left. So, X number of years plus two years. He didn't know that that morning he would be prime minister. The, gate, the jailer did not know he was going to open the gate for his boss. Hear me? While you are praying and trusting God, Lord, if you will only give me a job of 200,000, I will be grateful the day the voice of God comes to honor you for being patient through the season of silence somebody will call you and say I'm leaving Nigeria I've been looking for someone to head my company can you come and do it for me and you will think it's a lie that when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream please sit down the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I'm sure his heart was beating when he came to stand because they didn't tell him why they asked him to come out if a king should send for you from prison you are either going to go back or you they will execute you and I can imagine him shaking and standing before the king your majesty and the king said well I slept and I had a dream and they say you can interpret dreams said well it is not within my power God will give Pharaoh an answer of peace this is what you saw Pharaoh this is what you saw so what is the solution gather 20% of all of this and save for seven years and when he finished Pharaoh said since God revealed it to you who else in Egypt is able to do this I am Pharaoh and it is only in the throne that you will be second to me you become the administrator right away look up there are many things he would have done when he was in prison when he was in prison he probably would have been gathering some money to build his own house and make meaning of his life everything he would have done if he were not in the prison came to him in one day read your bible a wife came in he didn't need to look for a wife potifera the wife of the priest, the priest of On, his daughter, they gave him free. They changed his name. They put royal robe, everything in one day. Can I tell you, while you are waiting, don't be regretting what you would have been doing. It is already in the plan. The compensation is in the plan. Believe me when I tell you this. Shana Malakatosiata. The compensation has already been built hear me i know oh hannah that you've been waiting a long time for a child but be patient the child that is coming is not a normal child he is the one who will anoint all the kings of israel so be patient hear me do you know why patience is powerful patience is powerful because it can help you to be able to gather together the kind of compassion you need through your pain so that you will sustain certain results when they come 
when certain destiny things come too easy there is no memory bank of pain you will be careless over many great things but when you you think joseph had the time to be careless after spending x plus two years in the prison the memory of his pain in the prison will not make him take his job lightly that's why some of us press into this thing of god because we know where he brought us from sit down let's wrap up when god is silent number one it means he's working on you the vessel number two when god is silent what does that mean it means he is working on other factors needed to help you do his will look up please the will of god does not only depend on your obedience the will of god depends on the synergy of many other people and many other factors and sometimes when god leaves you in his silence is because he's at the other end of your destiny rearranging the people and the conditions that must make you to walk in purpose let me show you one scripture very quickly luke chapter 1 from verse 39 is god helping someone tonight luke chapter 1 from verse 39 this is the story of mary and elizabeth if elizabeth had a child before that time there would be no occasion that would bring two of them together and mary arose in those days the moment watch this now the moment mary finished her interaction with the angels she found out that her stomach started protruding she was afraid because no one else could relate with her situation but she remembered there was elizabeth a woman who has also gone through that season and so as soon as she went to meet her do you know that one of the major reasons why elizabeth was delayed was so that the timing of jesus and john the baptist imagine if she gave birth and john did everything roam around and died do you know how frustrating john would have it would have been for john to be in the wilderness all the while jesus was growing john was also in the wilderness it was the moment he started his ministry that was when jesus was also ready to be baptized if john were born earlier than that time john would not be able to have the patience to wait until jesus grows imagine john as an adult and then jesus will start growing how old will he be when jesus will be 30 so for that sake elizabeth had to wait there are times that the silence of god means he's putting other things in place that will need to the bone that will be joined to bone to make sense of your destiny and purpose hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying now yes. let's finish up 39 uh-huh 40 now and entered into the house of zecharias and saluted elizabeth verse 41 and it came to pass that when elizabeth heard the salutation of mary the babe leaped in her womb and elizabeth was filled with the holy ghost i thought god was silent so the holy ghost could still speak through elizabeth why didn't he speak for that long i thought elizabeth had backslidden that she would not hear the voice of god again and the moment she met with mary the holy ghost came again and she began to speak thou art blessed among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb uh-huh next verse and whence is this to me that the mother of my lord should come to me are you seeing prophecy who told elizabeth that this young lady was carrying his lord her lord 44 and lo as soon as the voice of my salutation sounded in my ears the babe leaped in womb for joy destiny had connected can i tell you this for some of you the reason why god is delaying you like this is because the person in the blueprint of your destiny to connect you the person just got born again and that's why god is anointing people like us to hurry up with the training of that person so that the person will rise to a position where that destiny connection can happen are you getting what i'm saying now 
Imagine Boaz roaming around and asking, I am a responsible man. Will I not get a good wife to marry? Whereas something was happening at the back end. Ruth and Naomi, God was preparing the great grandmother of Jesus. And unknown to the man, he would be a great grandfather of Jesus. Can I tell you this? Every time you don't understand God, give thanks and know that he's doing something. Preparing a table, fixing things that you will never, never need to have any trouble about again in your life. For many years in Zaria again, we're looking for land for ministry. No ministry will stay that long without at least having a property to start building and all of that. And we looked around for land. We looked around for land. I prayed and prayed and fasted. I said, Lord, there has to be land in Zaria here for us. Every time you call people, you anoint them. There has to be. I mean, there should be something. I prayed and prayed. and But then when I learned this, I knew that something was happening. And I kept quiet. One day, one thing led to the other. And then I, got, I, I slept and I had a dream. And I saw directly opposite the teaching hospital in Zaria. I saw myself standing there and there was an empty land there. And the Lord told me, this is true, that one day this will be the place that you will buy. They had done an excavation there to fix the road. And so because he was depressed, I'm not sure most people could afford buying it and all of that. And that was where God kept that land. To get that much, that size of a land in Zaria is, is, is quite a big, 36 plots. And right there, God kept it. I'm sure the cold that was tied will be wondering, what am I doing here? My colleagues are moving around. Why am I being tied here like this? Not knowing that it was being tied there. Even the owner did not have, he said the code that no man had ridden on. That means when the owner bought it, he just felt something was leading him to tie it. I'm sure the code to say, who did I offend? I've been here for a long time. Not knowing that he will have the privilege to be the one to write Jesus. The triumphant entry. But when the time came, Jesus himself said, now that I have come. All things are ready. Go and lose that cold. And if any man asks you, why are you now losing what you tied before? Tell them, the master. For some of you, God tied you because of something great. He stopped you when other people were going forward. He kept you. And now he's about to reveal you like a trophy because all things are ready. Is someone learning? Number three. When God is silent, what does that mean? The third thing that happens when God is silent is that it is possible that he is fighting unseen battles and averting certain dangers that may befall you on your way to executing his will. He is fighting unseen battles and averting certain dangers that the devil is already programming ahead of you while you are up and doing as far as his will is concerned this is very powerful there are only two prayer points we are going to pray tonight within the time that we have the prayer first prayer is oh god where i am already at the edge of making a fatal disaster over my life i obtain grace for a u-turn this night open your mouth and begin to pray please pray from the depth of your heart Someone is praying, talk to the Lord. Sabrande gebaratos kete bala haske de ba. Ingrete kete bala kato shada brase kete beleke tos. Lord, where I have missed out on your will for my life, I obtain grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying, where I have feared of sincerely. I thought you were the one telling me to do the business. I thought you told me to start ministry. Now I realize you are not the one. I'm not ashamed to cry. Show me mercy. Because he said his yoke is easy and his burden is light. When you are carrying what is killing you, vet and be sure 
that it is God's burden you are carrying. Don't be tired. Please pray. This is about your destiny. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lord, grant me the grace and the staying power that all the days of my appointed time, I will wait until your voice comes to lead me. Destroy the spirit of impatience. Listen, especially this, our generation, there is pressure to prove a point. I am now a millionaire. Ministry is now working. I now have 30,000 members. Be careful. For 10 years, you may be pastoring 10 people. Those 10 people are not yet your members. They are the leaders you are raising. Afterwards, God will now bring members and you will find out that you are leading a global ministry. It is this lack of understanding the will of God and the timing of God that has brought many people to rub their hands in all kinds of satanic things. You are going to pray, Lord, the grace to stay. The grace to stay in the area and the place of your will. No matter the sun, no matter the rain, the stamina to insist to see that your will comes to pass in my life. Someone pray, lift your voice and pray. Somebody pray, somebody pray from the depth of your heart. hallelujah first john 5 14 and 15 first john 5 14 and 15 please media help us first john 5 14 and 6 this will be our memory verse for tonight use it to pray throughout this week let's read it together and this is the confidence we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us 15 and if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask we know that we have our petitions that we desired of him your confidence is that once you are in the will of god find rest once you are in the will of god find rest for some of you you are about to quit your job right now and god is saying that job if you are can be patient three more months just when your promotion is on its way coming don't let the devil cheat you because the salary is not a reflection don't make the mistake of hagar when they banished hagar hagar went away in anger when god met her he said return back to your mistress your mistress Listen, please use this week to pray. Pray in the spirit. Write the various aspects of your life out and say, Father, with clarity, reveal your will. Don't mind people who say it doesn't matter. You have a brain. Be careful. Brain has landed many people in trouble. It is better to be foolish and to wait when his word comes, influence comes, grace comes. The man you are seeing today standing before you that by the privilege of God's grace you celebrate is a product of the honor that comes in standing with the will of God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. For all of you who are asking, Lord, direct me. Let me know your counsel for the next chapter of my life. Receive precision of understanding of his will in Jesus name. Some of you, he will come to you in dreams this night. Some in visions this night. Some he will give you a scripture this night. Some he will reveal to your spirit this night. But by all means, may my God reveal to you. By all means, may my God reveal to you.
number two I want to pray specially for all those who have been in the waiting room of destiny waiting on the word of the Lord I want to pray for you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be returned unto you can i tell you this hear me it does not take god anything to compress the blessings of your 20 years of your 10 years of your five years and bring it in a moment therefore i prophesy to you especially for those who have been waiting on the word of the lord in the name of jesus with his word let there be restoration with his word let there be multiplication with his word let there be increase in the name of jesus hear me for some of you as the word of god is coming in this season it will come with a grace to pursue it will come with a grace to overtake and by all means to recover all i say it again it will come with a grace to pursue it will come with a grace to overtake hear me some of you may have been burying five ten fifteen years it's not one child that will come four children at once will come to compensate for the time of waiting in the name of jesus christ joseph do not fear your compensation is already in the palace joseph do not see your season of the prison as a waste your compensation if you insist to come out of the prison god will open the door but you will return back to potiphar's house but if you wait for his timing you will never need to go to potiphar's house again from the prison you are going to the throne may the grace that enthrones let that grace rest upon you may the grace that lifts let that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus christ